This is the Zach and Zuri Show. Welcome. On today's podcast clip, we have the marketing coordinator for postgraduate coursework at the University of Adelaide, Danielle Tauber. I like to read a lot, as I'm sure you do as well. Um, is there any sort of books uh, potentially on marketing that you would recommend, um, you know, that people pick up and, and have a good read from? Yeah, definitely. I think I might be biased, but I guess How Brands Grow is such a crucial one. Um, I think that would still be part of the readings, I'm sure, for courses. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so how brands grow and I guess all of the Institute's book Jenny's books as well I think they're a bit of a collection now Mm. um, in my mind I think what is so great about them is that they're so straightforward they put marketing fundamentals into its simplest form Um, and I think again as I said like it's easy for marketers to sometimes get bogged down by what they're doing and I think those books are just a really nice refresher and sometimes brings us all back down to earth um, and get out of our heads and actually just remember like this is why we do what we do and mm-hmm. this is how we should kind of be doing it. It's really funny you should mention um, how brands grow. So I had like, and and then how like it can give you those um, fundamentals. Uh, so someone asked me recently like, oh, you, you work in marketing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, what should I be doing for my Instagram campaign for my business? And I'm like, I've got a book for you. And they're like, why would you give me a book to read? Um, You know, I don't need to do a PhD. I just want you to tell me. And I said to them, well, you should read this to get a basic understanding. And then we can have conversations afterwards because then the conversations will be more fruitful for both of us. And it was written very easily to digest. So like you don't need a marketing degree or a PhD to digest this book. It's it's, it's very accessible. Um, They weren't super thrilled. They have not read it, Um, but that's all right. haven't given them advice. (laughs) (laughs) um you know i should be able to translate this into terms for someone who's not from marketing yeah i mean if they don't understand like what maybe penetration is to begin with then how can i explain to you like or a category buyer or something like that um you need to know that i think you should i think you should bother to learn the fundamentals first but oh absolutely okay it's the best way i was wondering if i was being a bit too harsh (laughs) no not at all i think just you know it would be nice if everyone in marketing in our field just could speak the same language mm-hmm. um and make all of our lives a lot easier i think <laughs> mm, absolutely and then when you think you know everything then all of a sudden you hear like another buzzword or a new term and it's like oh my god where did that come from and then you quickly google it <laughs> <laughs> no definitely and that's why having linkedin algorithms suit you and show you all the new trends is so important mm-hmm Um, And with technology as well, like you were mentioning, like those changes that are happening so fast and you're like, okay, I need to keep across all of this. Hey guys, it's Zach Ainsbury here with just a couple of quick reminders. If you've enjoyed today's podcast, then make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. There are plenty more interviews to come with some of the world's leading marketing academics and the practitioners. You do not want to miss these. In the meantime, if you're looking for another way to connect, then follow me on Twitter at Zach Ainsbury. That is Z A C. A-N-E-S-B-U-R-Y. For my take on the marketing issues of the day. That was the Zach Ainsbury Show.